Okay, so if you're a photographer who likes to shoot in the RAW format, then the um, first thing you're going to want to do is to manipulate your uh, digital negative. And the best way on Linux to do this is to use a utility called UF RAW. Now, first of all, uh, you should check whether you've got this utility installed. And um, on Fedora, I can do that just by going up to my Activities tab here clicking across in the applications and then typing the utility name in here and as you can see here I've got it UF RAW so I have it installed here um, if you don't have it installed then what you can do is you can go back and look at the linuseum.com and um, have a look down at this section what's it called it's called viewing and tweaking raw images okay and it's under the G digital photography link Okay, and that will show you how to install UF RAW. So we've got it installed. So all we need to do now is I right click over my dig digital negative and I pick open with UF RAW. Okay, so here's the picture open in UF RAW now. So you can do all the things in here that you can do in the negative part of uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements. So um, normally what I use this for is for tweaking the exposure if I haven't quite got the exposure right. So I can, I can uh, increase the exposure if I've underexposed the shot or I can uh, compensate for having overexposed it slightly by pulling on this slider backwards and forwards. Okay, until I think I've got about the right exposure here. And there are lots lots of other tabs across here that we can play with. We can play with the temperature, so if we want to make it look more like evening than the morning, or we can go back towards earlier in the day, so that changes more the, the balance between the blue and the red. Um, likewise, we can change the distribution be between greens and purples, so you can pull it backwards and forwards here until everything looks nice. Um, that's using the manual white balance here. We've also got a number of presets here, so we can go to automatic white balance where we can actually get the uh, um, UF RAW to decide what's the best. Um, we can go back to what the camera had. So this is what the camera's um, exposure was. Um, we can change it to a cloudy, etc. and um, play about with some of the uh, artificial lighting settings if we uh, if we want to you can obviously tweak these things by using the sliders or you can put the values in here or or use the up and down arrow okay so what i have found uh, works best with digital photography is really just to uh, to play about with the options here and um, basically to keep an, an eye on the uh, preview frame over here in the uh, the right hand side and basically to just tweak it until you see it looks just about right and then just keep on tweaking it and then until it starts to go too far like there that's gone a little bit too dark so then you just want to pull it back a few notches and then release it and once the image that you see on the right hand side is um, displaying uh, you know, at the best point you can all you need to do is click down here in this on, on this button in the uh, bottom right hand corner um, save okay and that's just going to save the uh, the digital negative back to the, the disk with the different settings on it now it's important to note at this point that this, the changes made are non-destructive so we're not actually changing any of the pixel data in the picture we're just manipulating um, some of the uh, uh, associated metadata to make this uh, the best possible photo that we can. So I'm going to click back here and I'm going to record the changes I've made back into my um, digital negative file. And there it goes.